Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing this laser. I bought this green laser pointer, and just seeing how well it works and everything. So it's actually night at the moment, and I've cleaned my car. Well, not cleaned, just moved stuff around. And these two boxes are gonna go, and, and then all of them so clean around now. Full desk here instead of the trampoline on top of it, which was there. Full desk here to work on. All that empty toolbox there, all empty here. So I can just work around. So, um, and by the way, I'm gonna be making this. So, it used to work as an electric scooter. And then, let me just flip it. And then it broke. So you open the whole thing up. So I'm going to be making this work, but not only work, I'm going to be making it faster. So in future videos, you're going to be seeing this. I'm trying to make it 25, 30 miles per hour before it was 19 miles an hour, but it started going like 15, 16, 17, only 19 downhill. So I'm going to be trying to make it 25, normal road and uphill and downhill hitting 30. So let's start by reviewing this first. So it comes in a box like this. And that's all the information about it. Three point seven volt, uh, and it's hundred milliwatts. I think five hundred thirty-two newton meters. I think that is real. Not sure. And I'm not sure if it's legal either. I think it's illegal. Because obviously it's too bright. I've, I've tested it before. Click the charge box inside. It's just a um, it's a, it's a start charger. I don't know what you call it. The same as uh, Samsung's all chargers. Um, so you get these two lenses with it. With these two lenses. One, two, and then you just get the laser here. So all you do, you just take that thing off, which is just flipped, somewhere random, there it is. The laser doesn't turn on, so you don't actually have to press the button. So, that, that's the laser, so yeah, you can tell it's very bright. So let me just turn the lights off, so basically I've got loads of lights. So I've got this one here, with that switch there. Then I've got this one here, with this switch. Which I, I, oh, by the way, I've, I've done all this myself, all the electrics in this list. Yeah. This one here. Yeah. So you can tell how dark it is. So it's like a really bright, bright laser. It's actually very good. I've played with this before. And I don't know, I know how it goes for. But just look at the difference. So this is how it is. And now turning the lights on. That's one light, second light, third light, and I'll look at it. It's just completely lit the place up. Let's turn it back off again. I'll just keep this one on. Turn the video off. There we go. And then, just in normal. Let's just go outside and check it out. So, one sec. So, I'm just in the middle of the road and I'm going to test it. So, you can see the laser. By the way, this is a really long road. Let the car just go. Uh, so it's just like that. It's bright. Really bright. And these roads are really long. So look like this. Just like really long. Oh, shoot. Oh, shit. Here again. There. And then. Garage. Over here. Let's bring it. As you can see, and then it's just like straight away. Look at the beam. Yeah. Not many cars coming at the moment, so we're just gonna. No. Oh, flip. It's actually on the buildings. So this is really right. Let me just test the lenses now. I'm gonna put them on. Okay, so I put the lenses on. So it first looks like this. 
with this adjustment, I think it will. So let me take it off. Yeah. And now, uh, that, that looks baby sharp. Let me adjust it, it's not a different design. Oh, that looks like that. And then, I mean, yeah, that, that looks the best design. You know that, you know that. Yeah, I don't know. That. That should be in the bedroom, right? Like. So, like, I think. I think it's more for projector. And it's made for this, not for just a laser. But it's obviously more for the laser. So, as you can see, it's like really big as well. And then, like, if I go on this side, and then I just do it on that full door, it's like completely cover the full place from the top to the bottom on my bikes and everything. So now I'm gonna put, just turn the light on. So now I'm gonna put, look, as you can see, it's like a big difference. It's like one light. And then you add all the other ones on, it's like really bright. Like that. I've also got a heater in here, obviously, it's winter. Nice. In the UK, it's freezing cold. So I'm gonna just take this laser. So all you do is have screw on there. Just do one of those. Get other laser has a screw. And then I'm just gonna try doing it like this. If it works, that is. There you go. Yeah. Turn the lights off. Just a flashlight. Alright, oh, okay. So this is just it's like the other one but it's not dots, it's like it's like diamond shaped. As you can see. Prefer this one I think. I like this a lot more. It's just like I think for a picture it would be really good. Like if you have something like yeah, you, know, you just do one of those. Take a picture of it. Be perfect. Yep, so that, that's the laser. Um, for range, um, I have tested it before it goes about far enough. I don't think you'd ever take it higher. So it, it goes like a few thousand meters, I think. Yeah, a few thousand meters, even more. Like a, like a mile, uh, more than you need basically. And um, all you do, put it away. So I tested it before it lasts me a full day on and off use. It also says we don't use for five minutes straight. Like, for example, um, just a straight laser. You can't just shine it in one place for like constant five minutes because it's gonna mess you up. I don't know how. So it says just. Um, uh, if you want to use the full five, I've not used the full five. You know, I just got on and off on and off for fun. I never needed to keep it on for the full five minutes. So, a ward rate out of ten is um, about at eight. The only problems I found. So the only problems I found with it was like let's say it it doesn't give you like a charging warning. It just when it's dead charging, you just turn off after full day, but after using for a full day, you'd expect it to do that. And another thing, I wouldn't, I don't know why they give these lenses, is it rubbish? They shouldn't give like, like a, like a, like a design or like a, um, like not, it should have, it should have been a, instead of one dot, like, let me just make it. They should have given a lens where, like, you put it on it and then it's like, uh, how do I say, like, where it's full, like, instead of just going straight out like this, like, it goes, like, 180 degrees, like, all the section just be lit up with stuff. That's the kind of lenses you want, not to use these, like, kids, or just a projector. So, oh, I just use it for this, basically, like. Let me just try it on this. There, like that. It's like there. Or oh, like there. Really bright laser. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's really bright. So, yeah. 
so that's the end of this video i'm gonna be making future videos on like scooters perhaps more bikes because uh, after all the channel is called stack biking so like stuff like that and i'm also what i'm doing is uh, basically what i was using is this nice because stuff until uh, i'm using this knife as you can see it's been used welding uh, holding stuff cutting stuff everything and obviously look this is like rubbish and it doesn't it doesn't cost you anything like let me find something to call so like um let's say what can i find in there something to cut that's carbole carbole so he here's here's this toy I'm trying forcing it. It's not made a hole. It's just made a knife. I'm just trying this blood. And then on the side, it's just like. I'm making lines here. Yeah. Well, like this one, I'm just a bit of blade, everything. It looks better as well. So all you do, little for just cut right here. I look on here, so one plus one. And if you do this, you do it here. You can compare the cuts. Like you can see, they get through. I just gone all the way down. So it's like very bad. Plus it, it does the job like even even on wood. Oh yeah, I've got this branch here, which I made some stuff out of before. So then this like as you can see it's just like I don't know if you saw that with cut. Uh, I've got clamp here. Let me just clamp it on. Okay, so I'll put the clamp on. Look here's an knife. All you do. Or if you just want to like change it, it does so it it is does a job. Um, I've already started this project. What I've done is um, so here's all my tree. Do this my tree. It's a uh, thirty six volt, seven point eight h um, input DC slash charging for it. Two volts. I think that is. Um, this is a man shot series and all that. This part is rubbish, obviously. So, as it's, obviously, this is rubbish for bikes because you need fast bikes. But for a scooter, it's not 100 AH, it's not 100,000 mAh, it's only 10 AH. So, it's 10,000 mAh, yeah, I think. So, this lasts. Like, yeah, uh, about the same time as this. Longer. That's 7.8. That's 10. So, it's a rubbish look at everything you have. Charger is the worst. I don't know where do I charge it from that. I lost the charging piece. So this is just easy for the circle to be done. So what I'm going to do, put this in my controller. Obviously, the motor I've been doing some research. Um, if you put high voltage, nothing else, it's just going to go faster. They just don't advise it like you never do. Um, so I'm going to put this in, just need my controller. The old controller is up. I'm going to buy a new controller. Like that, but like, the same size as this. For you, well, I don't need all these uh, wires and all of that. Just need phase wires, main wire, and... Uh, or oh, battery, I don't need anything else, so it should be cheap. Should be like take one, and I need a controller. No, I need a towel. Don't have a towel, so I'm gonna try and get a full throttle. If not, I prefer just long towel. So it's, I'm gonna see when I get that. That is the next video, and next time.